Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak the Apple TV second generation on iOS 4.4.4 and that's basically like the Apple TV equivalent to iOS 5.0.1. It is the latest firmware and this is actually an untethered jailbreak, which means you do not have to plug your Apple TV into your computer and rerun the program every time you need to boot it up. So again, this is an untethered jailbreak for iOS 4.4.4, the latest firmware for the Apple TV second generation. What you'll need to actually do this is a micro USB cable and that does not come with the Apple TV second generation so you'll have to get one if you don't have one already. You'll also need the stock power cable that came with the Apple TV second generation and even though it says on the official website that you do not need it, you actually do need it because there's a trick to enter DFU mode if your Apple TV doesn't go into DFU mode right away and you need the power cable for that. You'll also need the stock remote that came with the Apple TV second generation, just the silver one with the black buttons. You cannot use an older remote for this because it will not enter DFU mode properly. And of course you will need the Apple TV second generation itself. Once you have all of those things, you will need to download the latest version of Season Pass. And down below in the more info, I have a link to a post on my website that has the latest version of Season Pass for both Mac and Windows. Once you have it downloaded, you can open it up. And if you're on Windows, you need to run it as an administrator. But because I'm on a Mac, all I have to do is simply open it up. You get two different options here, and we're only concerned about Create IPSW, which is the custom firmware that you use to actually jailbreak your Apple TV second generation. Once you hit Create IPSW, it will actually go out and download the latest 4.4.4 or 5.0.1 firmware. But because I already did that ahead of time and I already downloaded it, it's actually going into the process of unzipping it and actually preparing the jailbreak data and creating the custom IPSW. So we can use that to restore and get the jailbreak on the Apple TV second generation. So like I said, yours will actually go up to Apple and download the latest 4.4.4 firmware, but because I already did that, it's just going into the jailbreak process right now. And I'm not going to cut this out so you guys can see exactly how long it takes to prepare all of the jailbreak data. All right, there we go. Now it did finish actually creating the custom IPSW and it's telling you to enter DFU mode on your Apple TV right now. And what you're going to do is take your Apple TV and you are going to plug it in to the micro USB cable. I'm actually going to zoom out here so you guys can see what I'm doing. So we have the Apple TV second generation right here and we have the micro USB cable and you're going to plug it in right below the HDMI port. And once you plug it in, the light on the front should start flashing. However, this is not the case for me and I'm sure it will not be the case for most of you either. So if your light does not flash on the front, there's a simple fix to that. All you have to do is unplug the USB cable, take your power cable, plug it in, and then plug it into the Apple TV. All right, you should see the light on the front appear and it should blink every once in a while. Now that's actually not what we're looking for. So what we need to do is take the remote for the Apple TV and you're going to hold down the menu and the down button. You're going to hold them down together and point it at the Apple TV and then you will notice that the light on the front starts blinking rapidly and then once that happens you can actually let go of the buttons and then it will turn off completely and then it will start blinking again. What you're going to do from there is take the USB cable and you're going to plug it into the back again. And then you're going to unplug the power cable right here. And then what you're going to do is look at the front 
and if it still blinks, like so, then you can actually continue. And as you can see, it's blinking rapidly now, and we only have the USB cable plugged in. So that is what we want. We want it to be blinking rapidly. So that's my trick to actually get to the mode where you can enter DFU mode. Then what you're going to do is take the remote and actually enter DFU mode by holding down the menu and the play pause button together and actually pointing it at the Apple TV. So again, seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, there we go. Now it is actually inside of DFU mode, so we can bring up Season Pass here. And as you can see, it's actually uploading the data to the Apple TV second generation. So basically you don't need to do anything else. It will just take care of it with Season Pass and with iTunes. So we're going to set the Apple TV down here, still plugged in, obviously. And it will bring up a couple of windows, such as the window to actually browse for the firmware. You don't need to worry about that. It will automatically detect it. And if it actually doesn't select it for you, then you can hit open and then restore. And then it will start to go through the restore process inside of iTunes. So again, I'm just going to let this play through and show you guys how long each step takes to actually restore in iTunes with the custom firmware. Right, so as you can see, it's actually in the restore process right now, and it doesn't take too long to fully complete. And again, just in case you're curious, the light on the Apple TV is slowly blinking. I'm actually going to take this time to talk about iOS apps on the Apple TV. So some developers are actually working on getting iOS applications fully compatible with the Apple TV using a method to actually replace the springboard and to actually run iOS applications on the Apple TV in full 720p mode. So you will need to jailbreak in order to do that. It's not out right now, but I will have an annotation once it is out. So you guys can click on it to be taken to that video. Again, once it's out, I will have an annotation for that and you guys will be able to do it. And like I said, you will need to be jailbroken first to actually get the iOS apps to run on the Apple TV. So just keep that in mind. And that's actually why I bought my Apple TV so I can make a tutorial on how to get iOS apps on it once the developers actually make that hack available. All right, as you can see, it's actually verifying the Apple TV restore with Apple right now. And now it's just going through to confirm that it did restore the Apple TV. All right, so as you can see, we do have a notification here that says your Apple TV has been restored to factory settings and you can now disconnect it from your computer and reconnect it to your TV. So again, just simply disconnect the micro USB cable and you can plug it into your TV. You need to plug in the power cable and the HDMI cable. And I'm actually going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to cut this video and I will be back to actually show you guys what happens. 
All right, so I just plugged in my Apple TV and it did finish booting up. And as you can see here, it wants you to actually select which language you use. So I'm gonna select English. And now it is going to ask me to set up my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to cut out the video here and I will be back once my Wi-Fi password is in. All right, so I did actually just enter my Wi-Fi password and it is connecting and now it is activating the Apple TV. All right, I'm gonna select no thanks because I don't wanna send the data to Apple. And as you can see, the first time you boot it up, you get FC in the right hand corner down there. And that's how you will know you are jailbroken with your Apple TV. So that is important, keep that in mind. If you do not see the FC logo right there for Firecore, you will not be jailbroken. All right, so now I'm just going to go over. As you can see, you get all of the generic things you get with an Apple TV. And I'm gonna go over to settings here and we're going to go to general about. I'm actually going to take my camcorder off here. All right, so in about, as you can see for the Apple TV software, it is on 4.4.4 and like I said, that is basically like iOS 5.0.1 and that is the latest firmware. All right, so I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it helped you jailbreak your Apple TV second generation. And like I said, just be sure to stay tuned for a video on how to get iOS applications on your Apple TV second generation once the developers release the hack. So rate this video up if it helped you. If you have any comments, leave them down below in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.